Welcome. My name is Sarah, a certified trauma recovery coach with Full Circle Wellspring. And this is your Mindful Monday. Today I'd like to focus on hope. Begin by finding a quiet space to sit with no distraction for just a few minutes. Sit comfortably but alertly with a spine that's straight and supportive. Take a nice, long, slow, deep breath to help your mind recognize that we're sitting for some mindfulness now. Get any last wiggles out of your fingers and toes. Slowly roll your head from side to side or in circles or looking left to right. Whatever helps bring you to a place of stillness. If it feels safe to you, close your eyes. To calm your mind, spend a few moments just watching your breath. Find a focus point of your inhale and exhale, perhaps the rise and fall of your belly, or the cool air going in and warmer air coming out of your nostrils. Just place your attention somewhere inside or around your body that helps you stay anchored to the present moment. It's completely normal to have been swept away by thoughts or worries or fantasies. Just take another slow, deep breath and without judging yourself, come right back to the focus point of your breath and your body. We humans are known for being preoccupied with thinking, listening, and figuring out problems. Our mind is wired to keep going, even when we're sleeping. This space is time for your brain to practice attention by staying steady on the breath. So come on back to your focus point and let the breath keep you sitting in the present. Today, I want to ask you, while sitting here in this present moment, 
to think about how you got here. Take a moment to contemplate the path you've been on, the struggles you've had, the diagnosis you've received, the old life that you're healing from. To get to the place where you have to join me today, sitting in your mindfulness spot, focusing over and over to train your mind to come back to your body and breath, there was a journey to get here. Something turned you on to meditation, or maybe you even still don't love it, but you do it because you know it's helpful. Where you've been and how you got here now, that is to be celebrated. Now that you've imagined that past self and you've watched yourself coming to who you are today, I want you to place your hope in yourself, trusting yourself that you're on the right road back to your authentic self. Just like with this practice, you are bringing yourself home over, over and over again. This feeling Knowing how far you've come, this can give you hope that growth is possible and that you are only going to heal more, love yourself more, and continue on this trauma recovery road. You've done it this far. Have hope that your practices and goals will continue to thrust you forward with momentum. Hope will keep you coming back to your true self whenever you stray. Hope will give you the energy to push forward, even when it's a dark day. Think on this hope for a few moments. Coming back to the breath now, let's take one more cleansing breath. And if you feel okay to do so, allow a smile to wash over your face. Congratulate yourself for being hopeful for a healthy future. You can let hope guide you in your journey when it's hard to keep going. Feel your sit bones on the seat below you. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, come back to the room and open your eyes. Enjoy the rest of your hopeful day. And cheers to your hopeful tomorrow. <laughs>